Hello friends, good morning all of you. And let's start today. So you know that again, we are in, this is 2nd of March of 2022. And you know that after just see, almost two years have been there. We have been facing this pandemic situation. And right now, so things are becoming normal. So it is a thing that we people have to just welcome it. Okay. So I mean that we should feel free and the previous situation or normal situation we would like to uh, enjoy in fact. So from that point of view, uh, here expecting that maximum students should reach here in the campus and you should be here in the class rather than teaching uh, of this online classes. Are you tired of online classes or you want to enjoy online classes only? Is it audible? Yes. I'm not audible. Shraddha, you said something, but I'm not able to listen it. Okay, let it be. So uh, I hope that maybe anyhow, right now I can see there are three students with me and uh, you know that I'm expecting that when maybe soon everybody will be with me in the class. So with this note, uh, I hope that all you people are charged or maybe refreshed or maybe motivated, inspired. You should not forget your goals because teaching syllabus and content there will be. But apart from that, you should always realize that for what purpose we are going to join this course and apart from that, what we are going to achieve. So uh, you should not forget your goals, what you want to achieve after graduation or when you complete your third year. It may be you want to get a job into multinational company, a reputed company. It may be you want to start your own business. It may be you can have your own ideas or it can be higher studies again, but you should not forget that for what purpose. It should not be like this, that anyhow we are uh, maybe uh, having one day after another. It should not be like this. So every day you realize that you wanted to do something and there is another day, which is a great opportunity for me to get number of things done, to know number of things, increase my knowledge, increase my understanding, and you're making progress. So this way only. It should not be like that. Somehow the day is there. It might be holiday. It might be anything. But you should not take it casually. And you should not forget that what you would like to do in your life. And maybe uh, always we all are living on hopes, on our dreams, on our goals. And that may be of your goals, maybe of your parents' goals. But we have to work for it. And we want you to achieve it. It may be difficult. It may be uh, Maybe complicated also, but it is not impossible at all. And so uh, we people would like to achieve it anyway. So, but majority or commonly, you know, that what is the, the way or journey. So all students, they take it. It is like that. They just wanted to get a good job where they can have better salary. But uh, you know that from that point of view, your people should be ready from your first year itself. Maybe in second year, third year, your people can have lots of trainings, these lectures and number of ways there. But you should always conscious about that. How I can achieve? What, what should be there? What should I learn? What should I uh, maybe how? It is not always about just the traditional way of learning, but practically and consciously you are learning here. It, is, it should not be rote learning. For example, you know, in exams, maybe in 10th or 12th, you, you might have studied like this, that uh, there is one question, you are learning it by heart, you are remembering, uh, and then you're writing in the exam and that's all over. Here it should not be. Here, your learning should be application-based. So what you learn, you should be able to use it, apply it, maybe create it, maybe uh, it should be useful for you. Like this only people have to learn. And if you're learning, rote learning here, that is of no use. So remember everything and just think about your English communication. If you're dealing with me, I will always remind you of your communication skills. I don't know technical, anything about technical. I don't know much about aptitude also, but whenever you just think of me or my class, 
I will always remind you about your communication skills that you people have to improve, and that has to be again in English. So, uh, if you practice daily, if you practice, if you take little time every day, and if you work on it, and more important that I have uh, said it for a number of times that for listening we do not have problem, for reading we do not have problem, for writing also we do not have problem. Our major concern is with. Communication, that oral communication, our difficulty is with speaking English, and uh, we should start with that only. So you just take out some time of the day and speak English with your friends, maybe with anyone who can understand, who can speak English with you. You try to speak with them, and you will feel that you can improve. Uh, you can feel confident, and maybe that time will come that you can speak fluent English. There will be no hesitation. There will be no any kind of troubles or difficulties that you are facing while just. Uh, transacting messages to other people. So take note of this, and with this note, uh, we will begin towards the uh, content today. So you know that in previous session, we people have done with idioms and phrases. So in this also, we will try to just go through one slide here, or uh, two, three more slides are there that we would like to go through it, and then next part will be there that is about uh, cliches and redundancies. Okay. So let's begin. So I hope that my voice is audible to all of you, and the screen is also visible. So is it audible yes, and visible? Sir. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. But I can see number of students who have joined the class today is very less. Only forty-three students are connected, and that is not fair. So let's begin. All right. So in previous session, you studied some idioms. Here you have some other. So first one is here an axe to grind. So here there is no any actual axe, or there is no grinding also. But meaning of an axe to grind. Okay, next slide may not be visible, so I will share it again. Okay, is it visible now? Yes. Yes. Okay, all right. So an axe to grind. First, it was an axe to grind. So I was talking about this. Meaning of this is selfish motive. You have some intention, and you have some. Maybe you want to get benefited from that. So therefore, you are doing something. So that is the meaning of an axe to grind. But you should not go practical meaning or word meaning of this phrase. An axe to grind. Because if you are going to take word meaning of axe, word meaning of grind, you will get something else. But that is not expected here. The. Uh, Overall meaning of this phrase is selfish motive. Apple of discord. Another next one. Apple of discord. Here you are going to just think again. Here there is no any fruit. Apple, but meaning will be cause of quarrel. Okay. About the salt. Uh, I think that we should. You people can try to make sentences also. For example, here I can say. he joined the group because he has an axe to grind so meaning of this that he has some reason to join this group and that reason is selfish motive his own uh, reason for joining this group so generally you can just think like this apple of discord so you can say uh, we should Find out the apple of discord between Ukraine and Russia cause of quarrel. Okay, above the salt in a position of honor or the place or position which is of uh, prestige, which is of honor. So, if someone is working at such place, you can call he is working above the salt. He is working above the salt. He is working in a position of honor, place of honor. Okay. Uh, next one is all and sundry. All and sundry. It means that everyone, without exception, everyone, those who are there, you are referring to everyone by calling all and sundry. You can say uh, good morning, all and sundry. That is also 
you can use it. All and sundry means everyone. Okay. Then next one is an afternoon farmer. So though here is farmer word, but it is not related with farming. Okay, or it is not applicable for only farmers. But you people have to think everyone who is lazy, who is lazy. Lazy means that usually who wakes up late. You know that people have habit of waking up at eight o'clock in the morning, nine o'clock in the morning. So for such people, you can call he is an afternoon farmer. For example, your friend is there and who is waking late, uh, or he is lazy. In that case, you can call my friend is an afternoon farmer. Okay, so it means that your friend is not waking up early or he is lazy, he is not doing his things on time. In such case, you can call him an afternoon farmer. Okay, if you have any questions in between, also you can raise hand, you can ask, or you can just try to get it clear. Next is Achilles Hills. Achilles Hills means weak point, drawback of someone. Okay. Uh, you can make sentences that uh, though he is boasting, though he is uh, uh, maybe uh, making an impression, I know his Achilles heels. I know his Achilles heels. I know his weak points. Okay, like this. Then let's go to the next slide is here. Uh, apple of one side. Again, there is phrase from apple, but don't go for apple as a fruit here. It is not referring to fruit. Apple of one side means someone who is very dear who is very close like this, okay? So you know that uh, you can make a sentence. Children are apple of parents' eye. One side you can replace with other pronouns also. His eye, her eye, parents' eye. One is used in generally, you can replace it with other pronouns also. And you can try to make your own sentences also. The next is apple pie order. So apple pie order, something which is extremely neat something which is very up to date it is not in disorder or maybe if you have seen something you find it exactly everything is placed at its place in such case you can call it apple pie order okay so extreme neatness there is no disorder or things are not scattered for example uh, if you visit to library or if you visit to any room and if you find everything is properly set everything is properly or uh, maybe uh, there uh, books are kept in particular place, uh, maybe shoes are kept at what particular place in that room and everything is at its place. In that case, you can say your room is apple pie order. Okay. When you say your room is apple pie order, that means that everything is okay. This is commonly used. Next one is commonly used as clear as crystal. It means that it is very plain. It is very clear. It is obvious. It is uh, maybe easily, if you see, you can understand like this. Okay. So uh, you can see that depending upon the situation right now, it is as clear as crystal that Russia will attack the Ukraine, something like this. So something when you have clear idea now that now it is going to attack or it can be in any other situation also. In such case, you people can use as clear as crystal. Okay. The next is at a stretch. Next phrase is at a stretch. Okay. If you search into the dictionary meaning of stretch, you'll get something like this, or you maybe get different meaning. But phrase at a stretch, meaning of at a stretch will be continuously. Okay. And you can make one sentence like this. If you want to achieve success, you have to work at a stretch. So what does it mean you have to work at a stretch? You have to work at a stretch means that you have to work continuously. Then you will get success like this. The next is at all events. So at all events, don't go practical meaning of events. It is not referring to any event, but it means under all circumstances. It can be favorable. It can be unfavorable situation. It can be good situation. It can be bad situation. Under every situation, under all circumstances. Okay. In Marathi, if you want to get some, for some, I think that you people will get Marathi meaning also, but at later on, there may be, uh, you'll not find Marathi meaning there. So at all events, let's make one sentence. Can anybody tell me at all events, how to make one sentence? At all events that we want to use it in a sentence.
I will give an example. Okay, I got it from Samruddhi. He will get success at all events. Okay. India will win the match at all events. Okay, from Tanaji. All right. So it means that people can make sentences. From Nilesh, he is not clever, but at all events, he works well. Yes, that's right. Very good. We should not lose our hopes at all events. Like this also we can make, because we can make sentences differently and it is applicable for different situations. So this way you can think like this. At all events, you should have to pay the bill. Okay, all right, Samruddhi, that's also right. The next one at arm's length, pay attention now. At arm's length, someone or something that you're keeping at a distance. To whom we keep at arm's length, you know, someone, it may be our friend, but that is not a close friend. Maybe friend, he is troublesome friend. He is always, you know, uh, asking money. Okay, you have a friend and whenever you meet, you know, that, that friend asks you, please give me some money, 100 rupees, uh, sometimes 50 rupees, sometimes 200 rupees, sometimes 500 rupees. So whenever you meet, you uh, just get irritated because of his asking for money. So in that case, what you will do, you will keep him at arm's length. Okay like this. So it can be with a person, it can be with anything also. So you can also make sentences. My friend is always asking money. So I decided to keep him at arm's length like this. Or you can make your own sentences because that is not only one sentence that we can make. You can make thousands of sentences using this phrase. Okay. But you should be clear with the meaning. What does it mean? At a distance. You're keeping someone or something at a distance. Is it clear? Any questions? Any doubt? All right. If there is nothing, then let's go to the next slide. On next slide, we people have to add a fuel to the flames. I think that we have done it in previous. I don't remember. To provide a fresh cause for anger. Okay. Above all, that which of the highest importance. Okay, here we can make one sentence. Like this. Above all, we should complete the education. Okay, so, in that we are giving our highest priority, highest importance to completion of education, like this. Then, uh, next one is at the rage. Okay, I got something in chat box. So, from Tanaji, we should keep our laziness at arm's length, which is dangerous for us. Yes, that is also you can do. So, your laziness you can keep at arm's length, it means that you are keeping it away. So, it can be dangerous for you in the future, so that you people can do. Then uh, next, all the rage, okay? All the rage means something that is going to be very popular, very fashionable. It can be a person, it can be a thing also. You can say uh, recently something is in fashion or something is in trend. So that can be all the rage. For example, you can say uh, recently, you know, uh, Maybe because of any particular song or maybe because of something, someone becomes popular it's like this. You can take an uh, example of one movie which is recently released. So uh, maybe in this we'll take an example of Zoom. So the movie Zoom is at all the rage. So all the rage that is becoming popular. It can be also fashionable, okay? Then uh, next is to and fro. This is very common. I think that you might have read it earlier also. This is phrase, okay? This is phrase 
to and fro and what it mean it, it refers to walking and it refers to walking at a distance suppose you are here you are walking some distance here and from that you are coming back so you know that when when we do usually like this you are walking going there you are coming back you are walking there you are again so you are restless sometimes when you are restless so that time or maybe in another situation when you are waiting for someone so you are waiting for your friend and friend is not coming and maybe it is more than 10 15 minutes you have been waiting in such case maybe you are reached there and you can walk to and fro so it means that you are going there you are coming back you are going here you are coming back so that is to walk and uh, to and fro so going backwards and forwards next one is bag and baggage so bag and baggage means with all our things instruments equipments what you require so that is called bag and baggage usually when you want to just go for you know uh, for example there are many students who are coming to hostel okay so if you are coming to hostel you need to come with your bag and baggage like this so uh, in another case if you want to go for picnic okay so if you want to go for picnic uh, you can go with bag and baggage so what do you mean by bag and baggage so what do you require clothes maybe toothbrush paste and so many things that you need it like this okay so bag and baggage means with all things here i think english meaning is not mentioned but you can write down somewhere it means with all things all necessary things okay any questions doubts here if not then here we are below the salt we have done uh, previously above the salt so above means working on the superior position below means inferior position so below the salt in an inferior position someone who is working at inferior position you can call him he is working below the salt beside the mark not to the point so you can say uh, his presentation was beside the mark okay. his presentation was beside the mark so what do you understand from this it means that it is it was not to the point okay or you can say he was talking beside the point there can number of sentences you can make okay number of sentences that you can make but i will not spend much time because you know that in this session i would like to close everything the next is between two fires in a position of peculiar problems there are two difficulties and you are caught between these two fires and you don't know what to do uh, in marathi you have ikade aad tikade veer then next one by and large by and large on the whole next to bear the air his project was beside the mark yes that's right mukund uh okay pay attention we are here bear the air bear the air means that useless efforts means you are trying to do something but you know that you are not becoming successful in that case uh i will give one example it was his second attempt to pass the or i will say to clear the backlog but this time also he has to bear the air okay. to be aware but in that this time also he could not clear his backlog okay this time also he failed his paper like this all right then bear the burden it means to suffer to suffer uh, it can be any way it can be because of a person it can be financial support it can be any any kind of suffering that you have to face it bosom friend very simple and applicable for all of us from tanaj nowadays students doing work beside the mark of study Okay, okay, that's all right. We can understand means that not to the point. So for that phrase. So 
So, boss and friend, someone who is intimate friend, intimate, someone very close, someone very dear friend. In such case, we can call him intimate friend. Okay. So we have so many friends. You know, usually maybe you can have list of your friends, and you know, on Facebook, in WhatsApp, and on maybe social media, you have people have five thousand friends. But not all friends are close friends. Not all friends are intimate friends. Intimate friends are one uh, with whom we are just every day share our thoughts and ideas. Every I think that uh, our secrets and everything that we share with our friends. So those friends can be intimate friends. Okay. So you just try to think or you just try to define this bosom friend in sentence also. It's calling someone he is my bosom friend or we have been studying together since last five years, ten years, and we are bosom friends. Something like this. Okay. So you can make one sentence for bosom friend. Let's go to the next. Uh, next slide is about again uh, some phrases by a hair's breadth. So in that by a hair's breadth, by a very narrow margin that you have been escaped from something. It can be accident. जो accident होता होता वाच लाके या पढ़ता पढ़ता वाच लाके या कई तरह का दिगोष्ट थोड़ी क्या तो वाच लिया सिर तो you can call it by a hair's breadth. Okay, by a very narrow margin. And let's make one sentence for this. Like this, he is kept by a hair's breadth. From drowning in the lake. So maybe he's about to drown in the lake, but maybe something because of very short, very close, very narrow margin. Because of that, he was saved. Okay. Then pay attention to the next one. It is by hook or crook. By hook or crook. By any means. By all means. It can be fair. It can be. I think this is also we have done last time. Kontei margani. Okay. It can be good ways. It can be bad ways. He wanted to achieve success by hook or crook. He wanted to earn money by hook or crook. I wanted to get my degree by hook or crook. Okay. Yes. Uh, for loop by hair's breadth from Tanaji, we have one example. He lost his job. Okay. Instead of lose, we can say he lost his job by a hair's breadth. Then next, by leaps and bounds, it means that rapidly. So you can say, uh, example, we will reach to the destination. By leaps and bounds, okay. You can say he made progress by leaps and bounds. That is also possible. A bad egg. Pay attention. Try to understand. A bad egg. It is not any egg, but it refers to a person who is having bad behavior, bad person. Okay. A baker's dozen. Meaning of baker's dozen. All you people know when it is dozen, it refers to what number? Twelve. But if you are reading or getting something as a baker's dozen, it means thirteen. It refers to thirteen number. A bed of roses, something which is very luxurious, very comfortable, that can be a state of luxury. For example, you can say uh, his life is a bed of roses. So when we say his life is bed of roses, it means that his life is very comfortable. Okay, there is no any uh, struggle, trouble that he has to face. There is no suffering at all. So that will be a bed of roses, and it's opposite. Exactly opposite is a bed of thrones. Can you check the spelling of thrones? Is it right? Thorns or thrones? I am not sure. Is it okay? Thrones or thorns? Play uh, position of R and O. Is it okay? You can check the spelling of thorns and just let me know. A bed of thrones. It means that uh, in your life you are suffering a lot. Okay. Maybe there are every day you're facing new. Yes, from Raj, I got it. It is thorns. Okay, so all of just correct it. Okay, don't go for this spelling. This is wrong spelling. Uh, it should be O R. Okay, it should be O R. Thorns, not thrones. Okay, so take take care. 
yes uh, always stay away from bad egg okay always stay away from mukund we have one example for bad egg uh, now days fake news spreads by lips and bound okay that is the right tanaji so i think that in chat box i'm getting lots of responses everyone try to understand that you can also uh, making some examples because just understanding is not sufficient because a bad egg a bad person i can easily understand but let's check whether i am able to use it in sentence also a bad egg it refers to a bad person so you are making it uh, it's a sentence also uh so i just told you a bed of thorns it means that your life is full of sorrows sufferings troubles etc in that case you can call his life is a bed of thorns so in that case i mean that there is sufferings troubles problems so quickly go to the next slide uh, on the next slide you have to be a rolling stone so to be a rolling stone it refers to a person who frequently changes his job okay so for example you are joining one company you are working there for 6 months then you are switching to another company you are working there for one year then you are switching to third company there you are working for maybe another one year and you are doing every time like this so in that case you are a rolling stone it means that to be always shifting to be always changing to be always vaishnavi bosle any difficulty अड़चण है क्या कहत नहीं वैष्णवी भोसले सो इट रेफर्स टू नंबर एक्चुअली वी नो द डजन इट रेफर्स टू टोल सपोज यू गो इन टू द मार्केट एंड यू वॉन्ट टू बाय लेट्स ए मैंगोज पर डजन ओके दिस डेज इट मे बी ऑन किलोज बट लेट्स रेफर इट्स डजन सो वन डजन इट मीन दैट यू आर गेटिंग एट ट्वेल्व एंड सपोज नाउ यू वॉन्ट टू नाउ हियर इट इज बेकर्स डजन इट मीन्स थर्टी ओके हाँ एंड वन सेंटेंस यू कैन मेक वी बॉट bananas because this so when you mean bananas at the baker's dozen it mean that instead of getting 12 maybe that banana seller you it gave uh, it gave you 13 okay like this okay then because i just wanted to be quick so rolling stone i just told you next to be at dragus drawn with dragus drawn to be having enmity enmity you are just opposites of each other you are rivals of each other uh, enemies of each other open enmity okay uh, face to face yes that is right avinash getting example for bed of roses when we get a job then uh, our life will be a bed of roses like this then uh, pay attention here or you can uh, make sentence to be a dragus drawn one should not be at a dragus drawn with anybody we should not be at dragus drawn with anybody okay like this next very simple to born with a silver spoon in marathi also you people can have this what is in marathi to born with a silver spoon in one's mouth garbh shri mant ha yes that is right garbh shri mant it means that you having means you born in such a family where the wealth is already uh, there is a rich family okay so that is to born with a silver spoon in one's mouth to born in a wealthy family like this and uh, you can make one sentence uh he is born with a silver spoon in his mouth so he has not to worry about his uh wealth or earning or study etc like this yes uh, raj that's okay but uh, garb shrimant will be the right we can say that is 
practical translation sandhicha samchane janma gene let it be pay attention to be to be in hot water so to be in hot water it means that we are having some trouble suffering sorrow in such case you can say uh, to be in hot water okay so here we can make one sentence when uh, i went to any particular place or you can say i joined a company initially it was for me to be in a hot water to be in a hot water initially it was trouble for me because i was not familiar or habitual for work so it can be a hot water for me to be in trouble next is to be in doldrums doldrum it means referring to someone who is disappointment depression to be depressed okay doldrums means to be depressed and sentence will make one sentence for this when he fell to start his business he was in doldrums he was in doldrums he was in depression like this next to be in seventh heaven to be in seventh heaven it is a state of extreme happiness extreme delight okay so something that you achieved for example you have one dream and uh, when you achieved your dream you are in a in the seventh heaven it means that you are very happy it can be any achievement it can be getting a job it can be uh, maybe completion of any project it can be uh, a business or it can be anything when you achieve something which you have dreamed of in that case you can be in the seventh heaven accordingly you just try to make sentence of to be in the seventh heaven you know we are not giving time because uh, we wanted to finish it next is a bird of passage a bird of passage migratory bird migratory from one who is changing from one place to another place usually migration is from one nation to another nation okay so uh, you can make sentence like this there are many students who are bird of passage it means that they are migratory students they are changing their native country uh, to earn education higher education from other nations next is a bolt from the blue something which is happening unexpectedly that is disaster disaster means that some bad happening okay so you can say uh, after getting admission in swery i am in the seventh heaven if you are really like this all you people can feel like this so this example we are getting from tanaji that when i uh, got admission in swery i am in the seventh heaven okay so like this you can think of your own situation a bolt from the blue something happen unexpectedly unexpected disaster you can say uh, when we went to picnic suddenly uh, a thief stole my pocket and it was a bolt from the blue so bolt from the blue that was unexpected unexpected happened bone of contention bone of contention cause of quarrel so we need to find out a bone of contention between ukraine and russia so what is the cause of quarrel or cause of not quarrel at all that is a war there is a difference between war and quarrel but similarly you can relate it next is a burning question burning question a issue an issue it should be an issue that is keenly discussed means everyone just trying to think about it for example i can say the global warming is a burning question these days okay so these days so it has become the question of concern question of uh, that uh, we need to take note of it like this break into break into means to enter into something forcibly and abruptly you know usually uh, robbers those who wanted to loot banks or into homes je tarode vagare taktate so they break into the house so they they break into the bank they break into 
uh, something like this. So example, I can give you for this break into, it can be like this, the thief broke into the house and looted the money. Broke into. Then a break off, it means to end or to discontinue, to stop, bring about means to cause to happen or to make it happen, okay? Like this. Shall we go to the next slide here? Any doubts, any questions so far? Sir? Ah, yes. A bird of passage to the art song as in. Uh, the one who migrates from one place to another place, from one country to another country. Eka Zagyor and Dusra Zagyorti, Jalapanati, the migration of Amatador, Stalantar Asushakta, Stalantar, migration. Then uh, next slide we people have. First one is to be short tempered. So short tempered, someone who gets angry quickly, but can rakal that lagis rage to ashala. In Marathi, I think that nakarcha shende or tiragas nil something like this phrase people can get. For such people, you can say uh, he is a short tempered person. So he is short tempered person. He gets angry immediately, quickly. To be taken aback, to be surprised, to be shocked. Okay. Sentences, I will not make it. But if you are not able to make sentences in that case, you just try to tell me. I will try to give an example in that case only. To beat about a bush, to talk irrelevant, not talking to the point. Okay. It may be suppose that discussion is going on about exam. Okay. And someone is talking about attendance, someone is talking about maybe uh, presentation, something like this. So he is beating about a bush, not talking to the point. Or not talking relevant. So that is called to beat about the bush. The next one is this to bail the cat. To bail the cat means to face the risk. I think that there is one uh, interesting story about this to bail the cat. And you know, there are all uh, mice were there, rats were there, and there was one cat. Okay. And every day, every day, cat used to catch one rat or mouse. And uh, that was the routine it was going on. So all mice came together and they decided what to do about this cat. Okay. And so one intelligent rat come ahead and he suggested one idea, one trick that, you know, that cat is chasing us, cat, catching us and we do not realize. So what we can do, we will try to just bell one cat around the neck of this cat so that uh, when the cat comes, so that time all we will come to know that cat is coming and probably we can run away. So that will be the solution. And everyone, all mice agreed with this idea. But now next question was that who will bell, who will tie that bell around the neck of cat? So it means that who will face the risk. So usually, so the moral of the story who will face the risk, okay, like this. To blow one's own trumpet. To, to, to talk about yourself only, to boast about yourself, to praise yourself, to talk only good things of yourself. Okay. So that means to blow one's own trumpet. Okay. Trumpet is a kind of musical instrument, but here it means that boasting about yourself. I'm good. I'm, I can do anything. I have knowledge of everything. So this is what I'm doing. I'm blowing my own trumpet here. Next is to build castles in the air. To build castles in the air. To just think imaginary only, form imaginary schemes only. For example, you can say, uh, I will pass my bid take, I will start my business, I will just uh, uh, maybe start my company and I will buy a car, I will build a home, I will do this, I will do that. Number of things I'm doing. And actually, you know, practically I'm not doing anything. Even I'm not able to pass my exams also. And I'm thinking like this. So in that case, I build castles in the air. Maybe sometimes another example situation you can relate it with. Uh, suppose that you watched an action movie and when you watch that action movie, 
you know that immediately you transform yourself into the hero of that movie and you feel that you are the hero of that movie and you can do anything but actually you are not a hero you cannot do like anything like that hero so what you are doing you are building castles in the air so it means that just thinking in imagination only you are thinking that you are you can do great things practically you are not doing anything okay then next one is to burn the candle at both ends to burn the candle at both ends it means that to just suffer or to just lose your energy or to exhaust one's energies so maybe feeling uh, maybe tired after doing something so for example uh, when i attended the seminar for the whole day i burned the candle at both ends it means that i lost my energy exhaust my energy for that workshop for that seminar to burn midnight oil very simple and uh, relevant for we people when we have exams i think that we have done this we have exams students burn the midnight oil to bury the hatchet to bury the hatchet means that to cease fighting cease fighting stop fighting close any meeting or war or quarrel that is to bury the hatchet to burn one's fingers to suffer financial loss or hurt by taking part in another quarrel so it may be there is quarrel going on between two people and if you are the third person who is participating here and because of that you get it loss it can be financial loss it can be hurt emotionally hurt so in that case uh, you can say i got burn my finger by participating in the quarrel of two friends behind one's back in one subset when one is not here so if there are three people here and maybe one person is not here so all three people are talking about him so he is not good he is not honest he is not working at all he is like this he is like that so what they are doing they are talking his behind uh, his back it means that talking in one substance next one is behind the scene that means the grim reality behind the attractive appearance so from first end that seems very good everything is fine but behind this you don't know what is happening so there might be number of people who are working there might be number of uh, realities or truths that you don't know so behind the scenes means that to just know the truth to know the reality what is happening and how it is happening like this so here one example i would like to give you when we saw the success of mr patil we were happy but later of we came to know about the story behind the scene and in that it was not reality his success was not real success something like this in such case the people can make examples like this how much time is there maybe yes any minute left okay yes so to be in a fix to be in difficulty not able to decide okay or in a kind of uh, a confusion this or that to break the ice so here it does not refer to any ice okay then that to first start the conversation you know uh, if there is group discussion we can imagine a situation of group discussion okay and uh, here maybe 8 to 10 members are sitting like this this setting arrangement is semi circular like this and here are observers okay 
so they announced the topic for discussion and from this no one is speaking but someone needs to speak so when someone start the conversation it means that he is breaking the ice okay or it can happen at uh, some situations also where we are together uh, four five people are together and maybe initially we are strange okay first time we are meeting and at that time also nobody is talking nobody is if we are familiar we start immediately conversation but as we people are new and we are not able to have proper time we are not spend time with each other in that case people hesitate to speak and nobody speaks okay in that case someone needs to speak and the one person who speaks is called or the activity of speaking is called to break the ice last, uh, next one is simple breathe once last to die to bring to book to call to account to punish for example someone who is there who has done something some wrong work some mischievous work maybe some crime in that case he will be called to punish in that case the phrase is to bring to book chicken hearted cowardly cowardly someone who is having a lot of fear so that is called cowardly afraid okay crocodile tears magarmach ke asu someone who is trying to show you how much sorrow grief he or she has in fact there are tears in the eyes of that person but they are not real tears that is not real sorrow they are trying to just show i am just feeling a lot of sorrow about your situation about your death but inside of that heart of the person he is not feeling any sorrow at all but he is or she is trying to show just it so that is called crocodile tears okay there are many people who shed crocodile tears they are not real they are not genuine they are not friends bosom friends okay they are just maybe people who are meeting to you for their own purpose they are going to deceive you like this okay so from tanaji no one saw a hard work of someone behind his success all are get a track towards his success okay so behind the curtain behind the uh, curtain that can be the idiom that you have to use in sentence for that quickly we will read this call at means to visit somebody's house or office so try to understand call at it is call at so that meaning is different you are going to visit and that is a quick visit suppose that you are going to some work and while going here maybe someone's home or it may be someone's office here so while going your work is here you are going to reach your destination is here but while going this way you are just a short visit to this place or that place can be call at so uh, i will call at your office or something like this it can be used in sentence next is call for call for now it changes call at different meaning call for different meaning call for means to demand there is call for paper call for publication call for help you can say call for help call for help means that someone is needs someone demands help okay yes cry cry out against to complain loudly against something it can be a corruption you can say people cried out against corruption okay so it means that complain loudly about corruption or you can think about any other difficulties or problems where uh, people are just complaining a cock and bull story cock and bull story something that is not true something that is absurd okay something one cannot believe such story maybe there are people who always talk like this their their story can be cock and bull Uh, we do not entertain such people okay uh, because uh, he is making it long and that is of no use that is not real also in such you can call it a cock and bull story a cu cup of tea something that is very favorite to you you can call it is cup of tea for me for example uh, say painting is my cup of tea it means that you like it very much child's play something which is extremely easy you can say uh, driving a car is child's play it is not child's play at all but in case of you uh, maybe you can say something that which is extremely easy for you that you just call it it's child's play okay next is call a spade a spade call a spade a spade to tell it in clear words 
to make it make something clear okay that is to call a spade a spade spashta shabdat sangne mhanje kalel asha bhashet sangne to cool one's heels it means that to wait for somebody patiently suppose that you went to a doctor and you know that uh, there is a lot of crowd and your number may be at uh, 10th or 11th rank so that time you are, you have to wait there patiently you cannot go directly because there are already people who are uh, reaching before you and they want you to get treated by the doctor in that case you have to cool your heels cool your heels you have to wait patiently for someone or somebody all right so we we'll, would like to take pause here or we'll stop here there are many some of the cry over spilt milk we have done it both katla goshin worthy which are karne cut a sorry figure to make a poor impression close fisted man someone who is a miser kanjush a crying evil something that required immediate correction ekadi prata ji purnata thambavi lagte kyo tarti डिसिजन घेन आवश्यक है फॉर एक्साम्पल यू कैन सी डावरी दिस डेज डावरी इज अ क्राइम इवेल वॉट इज मीनिंग ऑफ डावरी कहती है क्लोज शिव नैरो स्केप दैट इज ऑल्सो वी है इफ नॉट यू कैन चेक इट डावरी ओके देर आर मेनी वी कैन नॉट फिनिश इट so maybe uh, i think that we'll give it in next time and uh, next part that is redundancies and clashes that things we people will do in next time so uh, meanwhile for mid term test syllabus whatever we have done jevda zalela sel tevda from first uh, articles pasun atta paryanta jevda zala tevda sagla articles noun pronoun verb adjective adverb preposition conjunction so maybe i will explain it once again okay so we'll take attendance and we will stop it so roll number 1 2 3 4 5 6 roll number 6 absent 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 absent 19 20 Forty-seven percent, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty, fifty-one percent, fifty-two, fifty-three percent, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight percent, fifty-nine, sixty, sixty-one. Okay, so forty-five is here physically. Forty-six is also here. Uh, so absent numbers. Let me check once again. Someone has joined with some different format. Fifty eight, roll number fifty eight. Pratamesh Mewari, you are not regular. I think that there are some students regularly they are not attending the lectures. Absent numbers are six, eighteen, twenty nine, thirty one, forty, forty two, forty seven, fifty one, and fifty three. If anybody is here, you just let me know. All right. So with this note, we are going to stop here. If you have any questions, whatever we have done, you can just ask me. Maybe next lecture also. so with this note uh, i will end this meeting for all should i end this meeting for all yes sir.